Hey guys, welcome to another SGRC video. Today we're talking rocket motors. That's right. We're talking the science behind them and how they work. So sit back, relax, learn a thing or two, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's roll it. So how does this thing work? Well, there's a lot of science behind it. First off, it contains potassium nitrate, sulfur, black powder, charcoal. There's a lot of ingredients in this to make it a very dangerous yet awesome explosive tool. As you can see, a lot goes into a model rocket engine. First off, in the gray quadrant, you have the clay nozzle which holds the igniter. And then in the pink quadrant is the propellant for liftoff and acceleration. And then in the blue quadrant is the delay and coast phase, which just releases smoke so you can track your rocket. In the yellow quadrant, you have the ejection charge to activate the recovery system, so it just deploys your parachute. The clay retainer cap in the purple quadrant just basically keeps everything from falling out of the top side of the rocket before ejection. And then the paper casing just keeps everything in a nice tube. As you can see by this next diagram, the pink stage, or the acceleration stage, is the first to get ignited. Then the coasting stage, that is in the blue quadrant. It's ignited and it releases tracking smoke so that you can see your rocket in the sky. After the tracking smoke stage, the yellow quadrant, aka the ejection charge section, gets ignited and deploys your parachute. So that's the model rocket basics. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe. Also, stay tuned for more SGRC content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.